Viewer discretion is advised. Hello there, one. Welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm your Shuli, the Nate Bots here for another do or do not. There is no try on the freaking Captain Carter and freaking Hydra Stumper of Steve Rogers. Now, uh, you guys know I did not do a Captain Carter do or do not because I was waiting for the Hydra Stumper and Steve Rogers to come in for pre-order because I was at, at, at the assumption that um, Hot Toys may not release the Hydra Stumper. Like, I was like, I was optimi uh, uh, cautiously optimistic about it because I felt that it could have been all for show and Captain Carter... Uh, Pretty much, they were just going to put that one out and not give us a, a Hydra Stomper. Like, they, they showed up the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers so much. I'm like, okay, no, we are going to get it, right? But the thing is, I wasn't even going to pre-order Captain Carter until we would get the pre-orders for Hydra Stomper and freaking Steve Rogers. And we did. We freaking did. So let's get in. Let's Well, let's get right into it, shall we? But before we start, please... Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that like. That helps greatly uh, with the uh, with building up the channel, get get it moving in the algorithm, the likes as well. And if you're new to the channel, you like the content, consider coming back. But anyway, let's get right back down to business. The do or do not. There is no try on the freaking Captain Carter. Captain Carter is is a weird take because. Um, some people don't like the head sculpt. Some people feel that the body is not thick enough. I am in the, in the group where the body is not thick enough. I think the head sculpt is fine. I think the head sculpt is fine for what we're getting. Hopefully they'll update a bit more to match it more to the show because it's not really, the, it's not, it's not, it's not connecting well with the show. Like, that's how I feel. Like, it's not too accurate to the show. I feel like there's subtle differences from the show and to the actual figure. But if they can, you know, work that animated magic into it, I think we'll be fine. And remember, this is the first lineup of animated figures. So I don't mind what they're doing. And for $235, that's even, that isn't bad at all for what you're getting with this figure. Um, I like it. I don't, mi I don't mind it, uh, especially if I'm, if I'm going to be posing her up with the Hydra Stumper. That's the reason why I wanted to get the Hydra Stumper. That's the reason why I wanted to get... Why, that's the reason why I wanted to hold off from pre-ordering Captain Carter until we got the Hydra Stomper, because this is what I want to do. Just have her on top and just freaking go wild with uh, the Hydra Stomper, Steve Rogers. Um, uh, uh, quote, unquote. <laughs> anyway, let's get right into it. Um, yeah, she's she's not as thick. I'm sorry. She's supposed to be T-H-I-C-C, -C, all caps. Thick. Yeah, she's not thick, bro. She's not thick. I really want her to be a lot more thicker. Um, more sort of like, uh, I, I guess, Endgame cap uh, thick, possibly. A little, a little about, or in between that. This one is very slim. Now, she does come with the Excalibur sword. And I think that's, that's a Excalibur sword. I forgot the sword that she was using during the battle against uh, that Cthulhu creature. Um, but she gets the shield. She looks great. She looks great. Everything about her is great on, in this figure. It's a, it's a, it's a beautiful figure, no doubt. The only problem is, I think the head sculpt can be. I like the head sculpt for what it is, but I think they could, they could add more accuracy to it to match her a bit more to the show, to the what if show, because you can tell the difference between this and the what if show, and there's no, there, there's a lot of differences here. With it, I feel that if Hot Toys is going to commit to it, I'm hoping they go full on with trying to get more accurate to the show. Um, hopefully, the actual body is uh, thicker. You know, when it when it comes out, I doubt it. I doubt it because even though it's not as thick, I am fine with what we're getting. And this head sculpt is beautiful. And also, if you guys didn't know, the the hair sculpt, the hair sculpt that comes with it, is not extra head sculpt. It's the actual extra hair sculpt that comes with this figure. It, it's it's uh there's one for you know for posing like this and there's one where if you're in an action pose it looks like she's uh going toe to toe with you uh with the hair just blowing through like there you go there you go that's the hair I was talking about right there so it isn't too bad it isn't too bad I like the figure it looks beautiful it looks beautiful I am happy with what we're getting with this figure and uh, for 235 it's okay we're getting the um the pistol we're getting the sword 
We're getting the shield, of course. You know, uh, even Captain America doesn't have a lot of stuff that comes with him usually. But um, uh, unless it's Endgame cap, where you got to, that's why I'm saying that Endgame cap should be your final cap right there. Do not miss out on that cap. That's a beautiful cap. That's like the end all be all of caps right there. But so far, um, it's an absolute do for me. But it's a do not if you're not if you're not picking up the Hydra Stomper. Why are you going to pick up this up? Unless you're a Captain America variant collector, then yeah, pick this up. But uh, I say don't do it unless you're committing to the to the to the set because that's that was that was for me the deal breaker. It was make the break it was the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers release. If those weren't coming out, then I wasn't gonna, wasn't going to pick up Captain Carter. If there was the only figure coming out from the What If line, I know there's another one, the Spider Man, uh, uh, the Spider Man, the Doctor Strange Spider Man, Zombie Hunter Spider Man, which is not too bad. I think uh, the actual figure itself looks pretty cool. Like the design is different. I'm going to pick it up because it looks different. And I, I want to add the I uh, wanted the Tom Holland's head sculpts to it to actually have it match up with the What If show. But as far as this is concerned, you, it can be a do not. But I say it is a 9,000 WEPAs on this if you're picking it up with the um, with the um, Hydra Stomper and, and Steve Rogers. If you're not, then do not. Just, just do not. It's a do for me, but do not if you aren't picking up the set. I uh, just letting y'all know, like, uh, like the thing is, um, I like it. I like the what ifs. I love the what ifs so far. Uh, I have some of my favorites. I have some I don't like. Uh, the fact that most, most, uh, not a big spoiler, but I'm getting tired of them just wrecking this one character constantly over and over and over again. I'm like, we already got so. We are, <laughs> just let him rest in peace, Disney. Disney, Marvel, please just let my boy rest in peace. Okay, just stop messing with my boy. All right, just let him rest in peace, man. God, it's it's driving me insane. But anyway, let's get right into it. So before we get into the Steve Rogers and Hydra, Hydra Stomper, let's look at the Hydra Stomper for 485. Now it's 45 without Steve Rogers. With Steve Rogers, it's about 625, I think. We'll look at it in just a minute. But it's about 625. So if you're getting the Steve Rogers and Hydra Stomper, you're closely paying to about a quarter scale. Because uh, the Mark 42 quarter scale right now is like at 655. So $25 difference. So expect to pay some money. Like expect to pay some quarter scale money if you're looking to get the Hydra Stomper and the Steve Rogers two pack. So for Hydra Stomper 485, what you're getting here, it's let's see. If let me see, based on a highly there you go. If based on the highly anticipated series, what if Sideshow Hot Toys pre, uh, presents the Hydra Stomper six scale collectible as a new addition to the Power Pose series? Yes, you heard it here, guys. Power Pose. Yep, Local Lou was right. Local Lou was right. Ah man, Local Lou was right. This was going to be a Power Pose. So pretty much, guys, everything from below the waist. You can't freaking pose up. Everything above, you're fine, but you can't pose the damn legs. So, and the and the eight points of articulation. So it's for articulation. It's eight points of articulation, including head, shoulders, waist, arms, and wrists. My take on this, honestly, guys, if they were going to make this a full-on articulated figure. Kind of like what the Hulkbuster is. This would have been almost eight hundred dollars, pushing twelve hundred, easy. I feel Hot Toy did not want to give uh, that, that 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 problem out there for collectors, because if you really think about it, the Hydra Stumper would not have sold if it was pushing eight hundred dollars. Because look at it, if the Hydra Stumper is going for eight hundred dollars. Doing everything the Hulkbuster can do, and then some, and it's also slightly bigger. It's 22, 22 inches tall, so the Hulkbuster is about twenty-one. This one right here, if it was pushing about eight hundred dollars, what will stop me from going? Hey, you know what? If I spend the extra four hundred dollars, I can get myself a Hulkbuster. 
I'm just saying Hydra Stumper would have not have been have been faring well if it was going toe to toe in price range with the Hulkbuster. I think 485 is fine for what we're getting just with the high just with the Hydra Stumper alone, just getting what we're getting, like the the articulated arms, the waist, the head. I think that's fine because I'm not gonna do anything with the legs. Honestly, that's what I'm gonna do. If you if you have a problem with that, then it's a do not. If you don't want to get power post figures, it's a do not for you. But uh, overall, it does serve its purpose for me, as uh, you know, opening up the hatch, giving me the the um, the Z, the, this is all you can easy either showing you what you can do with the arms and the waist, like and, and also the fact that I could put a Steve Rogers inside the hatch area for other looks or climbing up on uh, the Hydra Stomper. So, all right. So uh, I think I showed off all I can right now. With the uh, okay, look at the look at the nice little base. So uh, not base, but this is a stand. I think. I think they got a stand over here. That 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 clear stand. That's pretty cool. Ah, I see what they're doing. So you could have it flying around like down that pose. That's pretty cool. Ah, look at that. That's cool. Not that's cool because I want. I, I do want to perform some uh, uh, high def flying with the freaking uh, um, Captain Carter and. Steve Rogers over here with Hydra Stomper. Okay, so let's uh, move over to the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers real quick. Mm, Steve Rogers, there you go, right here. Okay, the Steve Rogers and Hydra Stomper. You see, you see the po you see, uh, you can put Steve. Okay, so you're also getting a second base with Steve Rogers' uh, name on it. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like that. So the Hydra Stomper, you do are able to open up the hatch and add Steve Rogers into it. Come on. Come on. Really think about it, guys. This is Steve Rogers you're putting into a Hydra Stomper versus the Hulkbuster putting a 1-6 scale anything in there. You could put a 1-6 scale anything. Literally almost anything. Like Iron Man, 1-6 scale. You could put a 1-6 scale Hawkeye into a Hulkbuster. So imagine if they were trying to push this almost eight hundred dollars or nine hundred, even a thousand dollars, with all the bells and whistles like the Hulkbuster. Come on, like there is no way, there is no way Hot Toys was going to do this. That's why they priced it this way. So with Hulk, Hydra Stumper and Steve Rogers, it's about half the price, half the price of a Hulkbuster. But with uh, Hydra Stumper alone, that pushes about uh, a, a third of the. Um, Hulkbuster the, on the price, but so far I am enjoying the figure. It's about twenty-two inches tall, so in order for me to utilize this figure, I'm gonna have to uh, because either it will go in one of my other display cases that are kind of like designed like the one I'm using for the Hulkbuster. If not, I am considering. I am literally considering to um, get uh, uh, putting the the Hydra Stomper. Right in my end game display, that'd be pretty cool. Like, just put it in my end game display. Like, I already got several people over there, like uh, the Bumblebee and the One Punch Man figures over there, just uh, chilling. I wouldn't mind putting the Hydra Stomper in like in the corner, right with the other Iron Mans. Yeah, that's a that's one place I could I could do it. Let's see what else we got here. So Hydra Stomper. So not it's nothing more, nothing much you get. With purchasing this uh, figure, uh, unless you're, you know, you're 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 happy about picking up Steve Rogers, this is pretty much what you're all gonna get. Just get Steve Rogers with the, uh, with a base, and that's about it for six twenty five with the Hydra Stomper. So my final verdict: it is absolute do. It's absolute do. It's nine thousand wet bus to get the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers and also Captain Carter. It's a nine thousand wet bus. My only do not is that if you're just an Iron Man collector, just get the Hydra Stomper. Unless you want to get, you know, Steve Rogers and add a pilot to the Hydra Stomper, I, I, that's up to you. Uh, you know, have a complete set. Honestly, you, this is what you can do, actually. If you don't care about Captain Carter, you can just go straight into uh, Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers and have that set, and, that, and that's about it. But the thing is, it wouldn't be a complete set if you don't go and pick up your Captain Carter along with it. You know, and that's why I did not want to pre-order Captain Carter just yet. I wanted to wait till Hot Toys dropped the Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers. 
and that's when I was going to make my pre-order. Because uh, you're out of your damn mind, Top Toys, if um, you're just going to put out Captain Carter and then and then not decide not to put out freaking Hydra Stomper and Steve Rogers. You're out of your damn mind. Because I was, gonna, well, I was not going to pick up Captain Carter. No, no, no. I need that set. I need that. Com- I need that beautiful set uh, for the Hydra Stomper and freaking Steve Rogers along with uh, Captain Carter. But it's absolutely due for me. I'm picking up both sets. I can't wait to see how that Hydra Stomper comes out in the final production photos. We already saw the. We already saw the. Um, the promos or uh, from the conventions where the hydra summer was literally it's it's literally an inch taller than the hulk bus that's what's crazy it's an inch taller, and i thought the hulk bus was the biggest one to scale figure nah i mean damn damn this hydra summer is the biggest one to scale figure as of right now that's crazy put out because i know they put out other one to scale figures out there that have not been out yet so i think the big so, uh, so yeah, it's slightly taller than Hulkbuster. But anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. Leave your comments down below. I will read them, and I'll try to answer. I actually, I, I have, like, a freaking laundry list of comments I have to go through. So I do apologize about that, guys. I've just been so busy with overtime. And also the fact that I, um, I, I went on a quick date yesterday. That's why this video has uh, is pretty much uh, late coming into play. So... But anyway, I love your thoughts down below. And let me know in the comment section if you're going to pick up the entire set. You're going to pick up, pick up Captain Carter. You're going to pick up uh, the Hydra Stomper. You're going to pick up Steve Rogers. Let me know if you're going to pick those up. If you're going to pick up the complete I'm going to pick up the complete set. It's absolutely due for the complete set just because they put out the Hydra Stomper. Like, because they put out the Hydra Stomper, I'm now going to get the whole set. Like, Hot Toys, you did a good job. Thank you. Yeah, let me let me know in the comment sections. You're gonna pick up everything. It's nine thousand weapons for you. I know some of you, you're like, that's what if show. It's not. It's it doesn't. It interests me. I'd rather get the live action figures, which makes sense. You know, this is one of their first Hot Toys first attempts in getting to the animated uh, route with these figures. Well, not the first attempt. That we that we had the Marvel um, um, Miles Morales. From the Amazing Spider-Man uh, multiverse, or, or um, into, I forgot the name of the title. It's Miles Morales anime figure uh, with him and Gwen Stacy or Spider Gwen. So this is their sec, I think, I guess third attempt on a new series. We'll see what happens with what they do. I know, I know, a lot of collectors want them to attempt the, the more animated Clone Wars figures, but we'll see about what how that happens as well. It's uh, it's a it's a wild. It's a wild time to be a hot toy collector. So many options, so many things to to purchase, so little time. And uh, we're actually going to bring that up in a conversation later in the future, like how to control your collecting. Because at this point, Hot Toys doesn't want us to move on. <laughs> doesn't want us to move on to other collectors or not and other collectible companies. They want to keep. They want to keep us like locked and loaded on freaking hot toy figures. Like, there's no time to move on to other figures when Hot Toys keep putting out more pre-orders. I'm like, damn it, Hot Toys, just hold your horses. Let Give me time, because I would like to get other... That's why I'm, I'm, I'm hunting other figures, you know, from other companies. And Hot Toys is like, nah, nah, Nate. We need, we need, more, we need more of your wallet, Nate. Come on. <laughs> anyway, guys, remember, we are streaming tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern, going to whatever time. We got a few more videos coming out as well. I uh, just wanted to get this out of the way. The do or do not on the Hydra Stomper and Captain Carter. And it's absolutely do for me, like I said. Anyway, remember, we're just simple collectors trying to make our way in this freaking galaxy. Later, guys. And I'm your truly the Nate Meister. And may the weapons be with you always. <laughs>